So projections, home price projections. Let's talk about that because I think that's everybody's trying to speculate. I think I think people are uh, I, I, maybe it's just the stuff I see, but people seem to be addicted to claiming that there's a housing bubble going on. And uh, I see a lot of it. And it's interesting, some of these people that put stuff out there, how much uh, attention they get. So many stories about it, Tigo. They, yeah. And, and they're all sort of saying the same thing, even though it's coming from different sources. But go ahead. Well, uh, I'm talking about the people claiming the, the bubble, right? They're trying to compare to what's going on today mm. versus what happened in 2008, 9, 10. I was thinking we were talking about price appreciation or decreases. In well, I was talking about years. the bubble at this moment. Yeah. My, my point is there's a lot of people talking about a bubble yeah. just because the, the only the only thing they're using to, to back that up is that home prices have gone up so much over the last couple, three years that that oh, it, it just has to crash. Well, the, 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 the thing is, you know, you, you can't take supply and demand out of the equation. Right. And so you have to ignore supply and demand to, to believe that. Now, a couple different things. CoreLogic, one of the big real estate uh, data analyst companies out there, um, you'll, if you Google them, you'll see they do a ton of stuff. They did some stuff and they looked at different metros or different metropolitan statistical areas, MSAs around the country. And they only came up with a handful of markets that they consider elevated um, in having a price decline over the next year. Um, th those were, you know, nothing in our part of the world. Um, the, the, the places that they sought were, let me see, where would they come up with? Um, gosh, like Kalamazoo, uh, Salem, Oregon, um, Honolulu, Mount Vernon, Washington, I'm not sure why. Kalamazoo, Michigan, I'm not sure why. Hartford, Connecticut. Um, so, so, you know, they're seeing some places where there is a potential for uh, home prices to go down this year. Very few markets. Um, a few markets that they consider like high uh, chance of uh, depreciating, very few. And for the most part, most markets around the country, they're projecting that the chance of a home price decline is very low, zero to 10% chance. And here in the Albuquerque area, that's that's where we fall. The they, whole they Southwest. Don't, yeah, they just, they just don't see it uh, yeah. in, in our markets. Um, so, you know, it, it's interesting. They also run some data that, that try to speculate, okay, what markets are overvalued, what markets are undervalued. And right now there's very few markets that are considered undervalued around the country. Um, so it, it was an interesting one. And then I, I looked at another one. This is a company that does projections and they look at a bunch of different uh, data points and they're looking out to 2030 and trying to uh, predict what markets are going to be, you know, have the highest appreciation through 2030. And the Albuquerque market falls into the high appreciation category according to this. If you want to look at this data, it's home.llc forward slash projections. They're a company that does real estate investing. And so they're, they're helping their clients look for markets that, that could have, you know, high appreciation over the next 10, 15 years. You know, Austin, Texas is also there. You think about all the uh, oh, yeah. all the high tech that's been going into Austin. It's going to continue because they have a severe housing shortage, right? Austin but is booming. Obviously, Albuquerque's on the list. It's, um, you know, they're projecting the highest appreciation through 2030. And one other way that, that I, I like to look at this is, okay, when we look at Albuquerque, how do we compare... Uh, home prices regionally as what well, you know to other markets let's say I don't know call them comparable markets because nothing compares to Albuquerque in New Mexico but uh, you know what do we see from an affordability standpoint right because that's really what it comes down to is how much people can afford and if you look at us compared to a market like Tucson or Denver or even El Paso believe it or not um, we are we are more affordable overall when you look at all the the, the metrics that you're looking at, and that includes um, uh, that's that's the cost of home ownership um, affordability. You know, markets that we're we're not as affordable: Tulsa, Oklahoma, Oklahoma City, right? 
But, um, you know, you just go down the list. We're San Antonio, we're more affordable. Um, Phoenix, we're more affordable. So we do still have that going for us, even though we've had this big run up in both home prices and uh, the cost to rent. So good info. I, you know, I, I'm still confident that our, our market is going to be steady. And, you know, again, we just have so few homes on the market. Yeah. So we, we are saying that still time to buy prices are still going up home values are still going up uh, also you know well, let me let me say that it can i can i reframe that a little you bit you can uh, if if it's time for you to buy don't be afraid to buy how about that i that think that sounds good uh, yeah i mean it's there's there's so many ways you can be afraid just get on you know online and start searching for reasons to be afraid and you'll find them you know, as, as we all know, they're, they're everywhere. There's all kinds of things to be afraid of. And, you know, most of the media is selling fear and, and it's no different in talking about the housing market. I see it all the time. And people that listen to Kiva know that already. So, yeah, not saying anything they don't know. We, we did. I, I, I want to share one more thing just talking about the Albuquerque market. Uh, I, we started the show. I said it looks like April is going to see a little bit of slowdown in sales. March was a little bit slowdown in sales versus last year. Again, we're coming off a record year in home sales in 2021. However, home prices continue to increase, even though the number of sales have declined. Well, the headline will say sales decline, but the prices are still going up. Correct. Right. Correct. Correct. Yeah. And it looks like based on you know what we're seeing uh, prices of homes coming on the market. And that's what my, my long video I went through. If you look at what the, the prices of homes coming on the market are, they're continually uh, continuing to go up. We're not seeing a decline there. So, you know, if if we felt like there was a turn coming or if we, we suddenly saw a, a big increase in the number of price reductions for listed properties, then we say, okay, maybe something's shifting. But so far, we haven't seen it.